<laughs> What's up guys, we're right here at Bergen County Harley Davidson and today we're going to have this 2022 Street Bob we're going to be taking out, we're going to be reviewing and doing a few other videos on. But I want to introduce you to Sergio, very important man in this dealership and he's going to be giving you some information on what's going to be going on next month. Next month, yes sir. Alright, so what do we have next month? What's up guys, um, like you said, Sergio from Bergen Harley, we got our 2022 demo truck coming. So Friday, April 22nd, and Saturday, April 23rd. 10 o'clock in the morning to four in the afternoon. Come on down, register for a test ride to take any of the 2022s out that are on the truck. We also have a food truck coming. He's gonna be here in the morning. His name is Fresh Catch. He's got breakfast in the morning and lunch in the afternoon, so you can hang out all day with us. Nice. I'll be here, and this guy will be here. <laughs> Pizza Sal will be here. Jerry's gonna be here. Serge is gonna be here. All day. This is my local Harley Davidson, guys, and this is where I come to get all my bikes. I've got the last three bikes here in this dealership. And so has Sal. And Jerry's gotten like nine bikes from here as well. So I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So I'm gonna be the lucky gentleman to have this bike for. A full day we're gonna be taking this home do some videos taking it on the road let you guys know how i feel on this new 2022 street bob beautiful man just really really beautiful i love all the new colors that they came out with this new year we'll go over all the colors when we sit down and start going over the bike what i want to do first i kind of want to do everything kind of backwards like i used to do my reviews we used to do, uh, do a walk around talk about the bike and then take it on the road kind of want to take it on the road first then we sit down and we uh could talk about the bikes and all the details and everything i'm gonna be leaving my bike over here uh so it It'll, it'll be here all day. Pretty sure they're gonna be getting a lot of questions about it. So this is the second year that uh, the Streetbot has the 114 on it. I'm really happy that Harley Davidson made the choice to go from the 107 to the 114. Huge change, um, and it just it's more appealing to the eye. You know, once you know that the bike has a bigger engine, you know, it just kind of draws you more to it. We got Jerry on the Pan Am. Woo! And we got Zal on the brand new CVO. Let's go. So I'm gonna be doing a review video on this bike and then I kinda wanna do a separate uh, video with uh, Jerry and Sal put the bike in the garage, the street bob I'm talking about. And um, I wanna get their take on the bike, what they think about this and a uh, separate idea I have for it. Woo! <laughs> bike is light man so the fact that it has a 114 now it's definitely real peppy feels really really peppy now let's talk about comfort first before anything else i'm 5'7 so this is what i look like on the bike sitting down uh super comfortable um i'm able to have a slight bend to my knees uh so the bike sits very very low to the ground very comfortable for you shorter riders out there um, it does have mid controls So for you taller riders you might if you are interested in this bike You might want to switch out to four controls. Whoa, and I'm picking up a little power right here <laughs> uh, You definitely feel the power right away on it because it's such a light bike I forgot what getting all this crazy wind felt like because on my low rider ass i got my memphis shades road warrior and then on the road glide well that's the road glide but having all this wind just hit me in my chest and i'm here with these mini apes it just feels cool man this bike has that really cool feeling that old school feeling and she definitely picks up Man, I tell you, that Milwaukee 8 does not disappoint, man. The good thing about the Milwaukee 8, guys, whether it being on the 114 or 117, you're gonna have that, that power that you want, whether you're on those low RPMs or high RPMs, that power is definitely gonna be there. Huge difference compared to the 107, though. Obviously, the 114 and the 117 being a lot more peppier, but I feel like it's, it's tuned very, very different for you to have that power wherever you need it. Now, as far as the mini apes, they're very, very comfortable. These are 10 inch. Um, we were just talking about it in a dealership and I was telling the guys how, how much I actually like these. For these to be stock little mini apes, they actually look really good and they're comfortable. 
Now, if you're also new to the market, you don't know much about this bike, and you're probably wondering right now about the uh, gauge right here. Is it hard to see in the light? No, it's pretty visible because that was uh, probably one of the biggest concerns when this uh, when this bike first came out with that gauge. Um, people were really concerned on how everything was going to look in the light and if it was going to be hard to see or not because of how small it is but it's actually a very visible size um and you're able to see everything really good um especially in those sun glares there's no issues you can see everything pretty well you're still able to see everything down below as well um if you need gas all the main indications are going to be in this little screen right there which when we turn on the bike i'll show you later on um, but uh, it's, it's nice. It's right there right in front of you as far as controls is gonna be your normal Harley-Davidson controls guys This bike It's just wow It handles phenomenal. Let's talk about handle real quick Going into corners it handles very well. I've been on this bike a few times quite a few times and I'll tell you that going into these corners the bike handles great it has to do a lot with that the 19 inch wheel in the front um, it's a thinner wheel than what I have in my low rider s that's more of a longer rake than the low rider s my low rider s has a rake of 28 this is I believe 30 but it handles great it's not wobbly um it just feels good man talking about handling and comfort real quick as well as far as the stock seat for it to be a stock seat it's okay i mean i don't see myself doing long distance miles in the seat it's pretty good for around town this is the perfect bike if you're the type of rider that you want a bike for to cruise on sundays and you know go to your bike night here and there and, you know go bar hopping or whatever uh th this is the perfect bike for you this is not the bike you want to get if you're going to be doing long distance miles, going out of state, cross country, vice versa. People have done it, yes, but is it meant for that initially? No. Uh, but like I was saying, if you're, if you're the type of rider who's going to be riding, you know, every Sunday and that's your day off from work, you know, when you gather up with your friends and you want to go, you know, to a restaurant or a bar or whatever, then this bike is perfect for you. It's light. It's uh, probably the best bike you can get for your buck i mean it's it's the cheapest bike on the soft tail platform that's going to be able to give you the um the 114 out here so how tall are you you're like five eight yeah. right so this is what sal looks like on the bike and then jerry's what six two six three six three <laughs> jerry you want to sit on it see how how you look on it so everybody can see you want to send it up you look you actually look really good on there jerry you look really good on there actually i know this is one of my favorites thing you look better on there than the lowrider to be honest i think when we go back and give the money back you should just buy it exactly and it's cheaper all right so now that we made it back to the house right now i've been on the bike for quite a quite some time right now so took it around some twisties took it on the highway and took it around my house. So I've had a little little seat time on the bike for, for the most part of the day. Um, just beautiful bike, as you can see right here, it's just, it looks perfect in this garage right now because the red paint and the red flooring, it just, it looks amazing. But yeah, um, 2022, let's talk about all the, all the features that this bike is gonna have. Um, so obviously we got the Milwaukee 8 114. The bike comes to, up ready from factory which is amazing because a lot of bikes don't come to up ready this bike already does so you're gonna have that pillion seat in the back for your passenger it's not gonna be the most comfortable seat in the world um your passenger your girlfriend or boyfriend whatever you're into they're gonna be comfortable for a good 15 minutes or so and then their butts are gonna start hurting but it's it's nice it's a nice design as well it looks really really good um you're also gonna have the passenger packs which also comes with it right here really really nice um this year 2022 brand new to the street bob model we got these beautiful mag wheels right here they look amazing man that looks really really nice i prefer them way over the spoke wheels um these to me just make everything stand out especially being in that black color it just makes 
you know, the, the wheels are black, the forks are black, you get the black frame, everything's red and black on this bike right now, it just looks really nice, really clean, real pristine. Um, I really like the way it looks. Um, I had a question about these guards, these gator guards before. These serve absolutely no purpose, guys. They're just there for whatever reason, design or whatever. But if you're on the desert and there's a sandstorm coming by, there's gonna be no sand going into your forks, basically. But they serve no purpose. So if you wanna take them off, you can take them off. If you don't like that look, I don't think they look that bad. They, they, they look okay. Um, but that's, that's, that, that's that. I'm gonna have the 3.5 gallon gas tank. You're gonna be averaging about 47 miles to the gallon with that. So not the most um, amount of fuel you're gonna be getting there. Um, but at the same time, once you gotta fill up, it's a good time to just get off your bike, stretch your legs out if you wanna get a drink or smoke, whatever you're into. Um, so 3.5 gallon gas tank. Um, we got the mad wheels. We got the LED headlight right here in the front. Um, and then this model in particular, just because the dealer put it on it, um, they added the uh, LED turn signals to the front and back. Harley Davidson, it is 2022. Why are we not putting LED turn signals on bikes? I have no idea, but the headlight is. Um, but the dealership, yeah, they, they put the LED turn signals in the front and back. I'll show you guys in a few minutes. We'll do a little walk around of the bike. They did a few little things. So they put the, the spark plug uh, covers, uh, the spark plug wires, the, the red wires on the other side. You'll see it. You can't see it on this side too much. Um, you got the 19-inch wheel on the front. You got the 17-inch uh, wheel on the back. You're going to have a 30-inch rake in the front as well, as opposed to, let's say, my lowrider rest, which is a more of a 28-inch rake. Um, a lot more performance driven with that bike. Uh, this bike is really comfortable though. So this bike, who am I gonna, who am I gonna say this bike is for? This bike is gonna be for your your daily driver. This could be your daily driver bike. This your commuter bike. This is gonna be the bike you're gonna have for the weekend for you to hop around from bar to bar. Um, you know, take a, take a nice ride. Um, it's not gonna be the type of bike you're gonna want for long distance at that not at all because this seat it's not the most comfortable um but i've seen people do it i mean obviously you could change out the seat you can add some saddlebags in here i got a lot of pros on my low rider s i absolutely love those bags um or if you want to go with some thrashing supply bags as well or there's just a few companies out there that have saddlebags that you can pack up um pull yourself along and add a sissy bar back here um and just a few things like that um, I'm a huge fan of the gauge, the digital gauge in the front, really nice. Like I was mentioning before on the ride over here, um, I have no issue looking at whatever's on that screen when the sun hits it. Um, it's absolutely clean. It's kind of right in your face on there, it's, and it's just clean. Um, bar setup, like I was saying, real comfortable. They fit great, 10 inches. They look like something that you would buy aftermarket, which is a plus. Um, some people like these bars, some people don't. I'm a huge fan of them. I think they, they look great, they feel great, um, and it just adds a lot of character. This is one of the only bikes on the Harley Davidson market on um, the platform that looks like an old school Harley Davidson. It has a classic feel, classic look, and it's something that kind of stands out and says that's Harley Davidson right there. That's something that you know we've been seeing for decades and decades to come. It just looks like a classic bike. Um, and I think having a classic look with modern features honestly goes a long way. Um, that's what, you know, uh, I, I think that's what the, the ordinary Harley Davidson customer wants is to have that, that modern feel with that, that old school look. It's uh, definitely a plus. Obviously we got the two and a two exhaust right here from factory. They don't sound the best because they're factory exhaust, but easily, um, Vance Hines makes short shots for these that I had on my low rider when I first got it. They sound amazing. Or if you want to go with a 201, which I think that's what I would do, I would do a 201 um, on this thing and clean everything up here in the, in the back. You're gonna have your Street Bob, rear fender, very chopped, right? You're gonna have that, that bobber type of look in the back. Looks really nice, really clean. Um, I just, I absolutely love the way this bike looks, man. It performs well, it looks good, and it just, it just does the job. So if you are a brand new rider, this is, this bike is good, all right? This, this is the bike for you. If you are a rider and you have a bike or two already and wanna add an additional bike to your garage, this is the perfect bike for that. 
one of the cheapest, probably the cheapest bike on the on the soft tail platform. We're not gonna talk about the standard because the standard is just so different. It's basically the same bike, but at the same time, it's so different. Um, with the standard, you're not gonna have the color options. You're only gonna have the 107, not the 114. A lot of different stuff, different wheels. We're just gonna talk about it. So if you're looking for a bike on the soft tail uh, platform where you're able to look at different colors, which we'll get into in a few minutes, um, and just different features, this is the cheapest bike. You're looking at around fifteen thousand dollars, as opposed to you getting the, let's say, a low rider S, which is real popular, or, or a, a Fat Bob. It's around that eighteen, nineteen thousand dollar price point. It's a huge, huge difference. You're gonna have the same motor, the Milwaukee A with the one fourteen on all those bikes, um, and this is gonna be much lighter, a lot more nimble due to that front tire being a little more uh, uh, slimmer in the front as well. Um, and um, let's talk about suspension as well. Uh, the Monoshock, not, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't changed my suspension on my low rider S because I do like that Monoshock. I think it feels great. Uh, eventually I might just because I want it to be a bit more performance driven and I want a bit more height. Uh, but as far as comfort, I think the Monoshocks on these bikes are really, really good, surprisingly. They, they feel great. Um, and that's pretty much it. What else can we talk about the Street Bob? It's a great looking bike. Good price point. Honestly, the best option if you're going to get a soft tail. Simple as that. Um, if you want to go ahead and do a club style type of theme with your bike, you can have the option. If you want to do like a bobber type of style, you have the option. It's just, um, at the same time, it's, it's like a naked platform where it could go either way. Depending on what you want, what you're looking for, the type of riding style you're going to be doing. You can do so much with this bike. And it's um, probably one of my favorite bikes, man. Um, the seat, it looks nice. Nice design. Not the most comfortable, like I said, but it looks really good. It fits the bike. The small tank fits the bike. I I see why they wouldn't put a bigger tank just because it, it wouldn't flow with the lines. It just, it will make the bike look a bit out of proportion but the design of the tank flows perfectly with the bike and it's good it's, it's nice some of you guys who might want a flush mount cap on here could do that you could clean this tank up a little more um obviously being a harley davidson we got the uh, aftermarket so there's a ton of stuff you can do to here man grips if you want to change out the uh the risers you want to get a method chase road worry in the front you want to get a shield you want to get pipes Motor work. There's just so much to do. Um, that's it. If you guys do own a Street Bob, let me know what color you have, what year you have. If you have an older Street Bob, you want to upgrade to a newer Street Bob, let me know if you're looking at this. Because right now, that these Street Bobs have the 114, not the 107 anymore. A lot of people are looking at these bikes a lot more as opposed to the higher price point bikes on the market. Um, now we all know that the low rider s comes with the 117 out and this is the 114 now so yeah they people want more power more power more power but the 114 is plenty plenty and especially if you do like a stage two it's gonna sound great it's gonna rip and it's gonna have all the power you want um especially on this bike really like another important thing that i want to mention is that this bike also comes with a usb port is on this side I'll show you guys right there in the picture amazing the fact that you can just uh, be able to charge your phone charge your cameras any devices you have you're going to be able to charge it on the go which is awesome um and last but not last the most important things let's talk about the colors real quick so here we have this beautiful red line red just absolutely amazing real similar to the billiard red but just like i feel like it's like a little fiery more and more fiery right you're also gonna have this bike in a uh the fast back blue right sal mm -hmm. sal's here sorry you want to say hi hey <laughs> yeah the fast back blue which is which is the one that was originally supposed to have because i really wanted to i like that color fast back blue is a beautiful color for this year um you're gonna have the gauntlet gray um be posting up all the pictures right here and then obviously we're gonna have the bike in black with the uh orange uh, emblem right here as well um, That's it man guys if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button That's gonna notify you any type of new content and if you want to see more content like this Let me know drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what bike you want me to take out next um, So I can let Bergen Harley. Hey, yeah, uh, get that bike ready for me to pick it up and do some content with people That's gonna be pretty much it. I think we covered everything 
Um, but uh, take this bike back to Bergen Harley Davidson. Once again, huge shout out to Bergen Harley Davidson for allowing me to do this. We're gonna be doing a lot of more of this stuff like this. So if you guys wanna see more content like this way, uh, let me know what type of bike you want me to take out next. We can review it, go over everything little by little. And uh, that's it. Okay, join the guys to the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Over the mag wheels, I mean, over the, uh, the, the see? That's where it goes. Let's see, Robbie. All right, now, last things first. Oh, not last things first. Blah, 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 blah. Take one. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're here at Bergen Car. Blah, blah, blah. You see? So you're gonna go? Take two. <laughs> it's a fucking nice looking bike, man. It, it is, man. I guess it's beautiful. <laughs>